Today, I'm going to invite some help over to do a balcony makeover. This is my friend named Eleanor, who's been helping me edit a lot of the videos you've seen recently. Ollie's a big fan of hers, as you can see. We're going to start by bringing in as many packages of soil, furniture, and containers from the garage as we can. I'm honestly shocked that I still have the energy to do these large-scale makeovers. I'm also grateful that Ollie still has it in him to help us rip open these boxes too. I'll never take his presence for granted. But every time I do a makeover, it looks like World War III in this house. Boxes are shredded apart, and everything in sight looks messy and chaotic. Most of the time, I do all of the work by myself because John is usually on calls all day for his work. The state of chaos and isolation really is quite the metaphor for what happens to us internally when we are traumatized. I've been studying up on trauma for the past several years, and it's been top of mind because, well, I'll reveal that in a minute. But what's interesting is that our past trauma conditions us to view stability as untrustworthy, and everything inside us tells us to stay on high alert for the next crisis to hit. While searching for the next bad thing to happen, we miss out on the good we currently have. That is the double-edged sword of having a heightened internal alarm system. You seem more prepared for potential dangers, but at the cost of enjoying the safety that already exists. And if there's one thing the enemy loves to do, it is to make us feel isolated in our suffering and chaos. In our isolation, he is free to consume our thoughts, poison our joys, and destroy our hopes for the future. Yet he lives in constant fear that one day we'll realize the truth, that even in our darkest moments of suffering, Jesus is and always has been enduring it alongside us. Indeed, we were never truly alone. Despite the chaos that surrounds you and the isolation that you might be feeling, here's the truth. Jesus loves you. He has a love for you that is unlike any other love you have ever known. He loves you in your weakness and He loves you in your trauma. He loves you so fiercely that He laid down His life for you. Your problems are not too big for Him to step into and address. He isn't deterred by your mess. Jesus values you, has hopes for you, and endures with you. Everything that I just shared with you are actually direct quotes from my new book called Forever Home. I've been working on Forever Home since 2021, even putting myself through trauma therapy to dig deep into my past and break free from the things that were holding me back. The words in this book aren't just lip service. I poured my heart and soul into sharing every vulnerable detail of how I rebuilt my own safe house after the trauma of my early life. It's a unique blend of biblical teaching and personal storytelling that will help you build the strong, peaceful, and abundant life you've always dreamt of. Pre-orders are available now at your favorite book retailers, and I'll link to a few in my video description. Now that we did most of the heavy lifting, it's time to clean up all of the soil crumbs upstairs. It's a good thing I have this sleek and futuristic vacuum that can mop and vacuum at the same time. Yep, you heard me right. It's called the Mach V1 Ultra, and it's the greatest cleaning hack I've seen in a long time. I own other cleaning appliances that mop and vacuum, but have never seen any machine do it at the same time. Just take a look at how it vacuums up the dirt while mopping our floors in one fell swoop. It also uses steam to melt away stubborn stains so you can deep clean your floors. This beautiful cordless vacuum saves me hours of work because I have to vacuum almost every day due to owning a corgi and doing endless DIYs all the time. The cleaning agent is also safe for pets and children, so I don't have to worry about all these allergies acting up. They truly thought of everything. 
Not only is it powerful, but I also love that it's smart enough to propel itself forward so it's lighter on my arms and doesn't feel heavy. It's almost like driving a very smooth automatic car. Plus, the beautiful sleek design fits perfectly with my neutral decor, so I don't feel the need to hide it. When I'm done using it, guess what? It also cleans itself. Isn't that insane? With a touch of a button, the brush gets cleaned with oxygenated water and then blow dried so that it doesn't cause your home to smell. When it's done cleaning, all I have to do is get rid of the dirty water and I'm done. The house is sparkling clean and ready to go. You might only know me for the beautiful makeovers on my channel and see me moving from one gorgeous place to another, but I don't want to give you the wrong idea about my background. I didn't come from money or any sort of privilege at all. I came from a rural town on the outskirts of Saigon, where even native Vietnamese people have never heard of. It's called Yao Ting. Try saying that out loud. No one will know what you're talking about. When I moved to the States, I got bullied for speaking English with a heavy accent, and I struggled with writing all throughout my high school career. It wasn't until I encountered Jesus during my senior year that I felt like I had a second chance at life. That encouraged me to give school another try. In the remedial English class at my community college, I learned how to transform my thoughts into words in a way that made me feel free. It felt like I was given tools to express layers of myself that had long been confined. I eventually scored into the best English program in the nation, at the time, at UC Berkeley. From there, I became a copywriter after college, eventually started this YouTube channel which relies heavily on writing, and now I actually have my own trade book. It wasn't an easy or smooth journey at all to get here. I mean, it genuinely took 30 years of personal growth and spiritual formation for me to be here at this very moment, planting this balcony garden and sharing this incredible news with you. So I really do mean it when I say that this is my dream come true and it would be an honor for you to pre-order my book. In it, you'll learn how to remove the unsafe patterns of your past, renew the foundation of your life, rebuild the framework of your resilience, reinforce the integrity of your boundaries, and restore the beauty that God promised you. It's time to uproot the things from your past, live free from the pain that's holding you back, and experience the abundant life that God designed just for you. Welcome home. Let me give you a quick update on my DIY raised bed garden. It's been a month since I planted these potatoes inside my cardboard boxes and look how much they've grown. 
And yes, these boxes do hold up just fine, even with watering. I don't know how, but it just does. I highly recommend reusing your cardboard boxes as planters. Over here, we have my pumpkin patch. I also use cardboard boxes and the pumpkins are thriving. The leaves are many times larger than my hand. Finally, take a look at these delicious strawberries. What is even my life right now? I'm picking homegrown strawberries and holding them in my handmade linen jumpsuits. I only have half of my inventory left by the way, so if you've been eyeing them, you can get it at thehugoshop.com. Ollie's a huge fan of fruits, so I like to reward him with fresh strawberries from our garden. Thank you so much again for visiting my home and hearing my story today. If you were encouraged, please feel free to check out the links in my video description. I'll link to the cool vacuum, my book Forever Home, my jumpsuits, the balcony items, and a ton of free stuff for you there as well. Thank you for being part of my journey and letting me be part of yours. I'll see you again soon.